Well, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Yes, good morning and welcome to the place where we often find ourselves. Epcot! We're here again and it's uh, it's another festival. First one of 2021. It's just a festival of the arts. So we're gonna we're gonna go around, we're gonna look at some arts, look at some crafts, lots of different types of arts. A lot of it is food, culinary arts, that's a thing. We're gonna enrich our lives and our cultural culture. What is going on? Well, the festival isn't quite open yet. It starts at 11. It's still about 10 minutes till. So we just decided to kind of hang around France because we're starting in France. We came in from the back. So we're back here by the Beauty and the Beast sing along. I didn't know this was here, but look, Lumiere's up there. It looks like he's reaching over to, to light that lamp. We don't need it yet, buddy. It's pretty bright out. Maybe later though. The crowds are pretty light right now. Is it just because we're just opening? It's just now open. It's technically not open yet, but there's like nobody here. Is that a sign of things to come? Or is it just going to be, it's going to be a busy day. I don't know why I'm even thinking Ooh, that. Ooh, listen to this fun music in that fun place. Look at that, it, this is very fun. I, this booth here looks fun to say. I think this is one of the new ones. The Fabrante and Vivido, that is fun to say. That's why this is so much fun. This is all based around the, uh, the legendary artwork of Mary Blair, that's right. How cool is that? Ooh, look, there she is right there. That's Mary Blair. She does all that fun, classic Disney artwork including this classic, It's a Small World. So It's a Small World. We can thank Mary Blair for that art style. Awesome. Looky there, Mickey and Minnie. Wow, <laughs> Minnie sauce. She waved. All right, well, we didn't mean to get three of the drinks. We only meant two, but we got charged for three, so we took three. We'll make it work. But this thing, look at that. Look at these wonderful colors here. That's pretty cool, but this whole thing, the colors look really beautiful. And check this out. Isn't that a thing that like, people like to see on the internet, it's jig jiggly food. Well, there you go, jiggly foods. Oh man, look at that. That is a piece of octopus. That is the real deal. This has got a lot of stuff. This is the uh, chilled seafood shrimp cocktail with octopus, scallops, shrimp, black garlic aioli, tomato, coconut sauce, and serrano lime oil. How about that? That octopus is gonna be interesting, but hey, that's, that's what we're here for, right? I'm not eating you, it. You guys are eating the octopus too? Yeah. All right. So that's uh, that's all me. And then the other thing is this blue corn pupusa. Look at that. Stuffed with cheese and topped with shredded pork, guajillo, and arbol chile sauce, cabbage slaw, and aji amarillo crema. That's a. Uh, I'm I'm good at things. Oh, and we can't forget this coconut and passion fruit smoothie. Look at that. And it comes in this fun like can. It's like a can, plastic. Reusable. We'll it's take that home. Non-alcoholic. That is right. That is correct. Oh, that's weird. Pretty weird. Very tart. And that little thing at the bottom just reminds me of like a cookie. It's a, Gosh. It's a tough. That, that's one that's a tough, tough cookie. cookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, we'll try this. Uh, this. This thing, the old chilled seafood cocktail with octopus. Let's start with the octopus. Very interesting. Man, that is, look, tentacles. It's got the tentacles. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> I told you. Does it taste fishy? Does it like... I mean, it brings a little tear to my eye. <laughs> it's a little weird. Let's try one of these scallops. Maybe I'll like that a little bit better. Looks better. A little shrimp. Mm -mm. Well, I ate all the octopus off of there and it was weird. Definitely had to wash it down with some of this wonderful smoothie. That thing's actually really good. But uh, everything else is really good. I, I love all the sauces. The shrimp's really tasty and the scallops are really yummy. It's like a cookie on the bottom and I can't like get it with this fork. All right, so get a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And uh, yeah, we'll try a little bit of this. This, this seems like it'd be good. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm, that's really good. I like that. Jessica just challenged me to take a bite of this whole thing. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I won. Yeah, I gotta say, the, the Bronte and Vivendo, is that what that was? I have the receipt here. 
Vibrante and Vivido. It's gonna be hard to beat. And just past Morocco, over here at the Mosaic Gantine, we gotta get the moose kuchu. Here we go with this moose kuchu and a dirty table, James. God, we say we have to get this here because we're doing a thing. We're doing the colorful cuisine. Here, the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. We're, we're taking a Technicolor tour around Epcot and sampling a spectrum of dazzling, delicious dishes in a vibrant variety of hues. I'm just reading that right there. I, I'm not that good at just making up wonderful dialogue. Why is that fun to say? Mouse Mouskachu. Maybe. I, I don't know. Okay. So this is an orange cake, right? Yes. With the... Uh, what is inside of that? It's got a crunch to it. This looks really weird. Looks like... Ooh, that is pretty weird looking. Meatloaf. <laughs> Meatloaf. <laughs> Taste all the flavors. I don't... I just don't like that orange flavor that's not orange. There definitely are some weird colors inside of there. Here's a little close-up shot inside. Oh yeah, hopefully I'm not sounding like that after I try this thing in. That looks neat in the sun. Look at that. I mean, it still looks... Oh, what is that inside of there? Oh, weird. What is this? What is this food? I like it. That's good. And for some reason it makes me think of Christmas. I don't know why. But I like it. It's yummy. To me, that's a yummy treat. Well, don't forget, we are here at the Festival of the Arts, so we need to do some art stuff, right? We're gonna learn how to draw something, I think. The, there's a stage up here uh, with the, the desk, and I just, I don't know what we're doing, but I have a feeling, because we have uh, this pad type thing and a pencil, I think we're gonna draw something. I think we're gonna learn to draw. That sounds fun. All right, so I guess there's two of these things, two of these anima animation, animation academies. I tried to say it both at the same time. Just save some time, right? But there's two of these things a day, 12.30 and 1.30, and it's 12.30 now. Sounds very ominous. We're starting Hello, friends. friends. Hello. We now invite you to join us for the Animation Academy. Please welcome your sketch artist of the day. Hello. Hey, welcome, hey sketch oh, artist boy, of the day. art people. I'm an art dude. You can call me Jesse. What do you think about Friends, that? At this time, we must ask Donald that Duck all guests signed completely clear the theater by so the artist. For the next Jessica the also did one. At this time. Look at hers. Thank you. That looks really nice. He's really, really working on his signature. But, look at his Donald the Duck. That was fun. I feel like I'm part of the Festival of the Arts now. Over here near Germany, we went to Cl Cuisine Classique. We got the, the Coca Vin. Co Coca Vin? But it's like a chicken and a bacon and little potatoes. But yeah, I think those are potatoes. Looks like them. I think this is gonna be good. This is a little savory, a little different than what we've been doing. We've been doing a lot of sweets, and it's definitely time for some savory. Okay, I might just have to take a bite. Pretty good. It's just pretty good? Yeah, it's not like super awesome. Fantastic. Well, it'll definitely balance that sweet stuff we've been having though, right? That bacon looks pretty artistic. Oh, dang, look at that. That's some glitter mania. Oh, look. Is that, are those little Mickey glitters? Oh, look at that. Mickey glitters, oh, that, that's pretty neat. Wow, art. That's a pretty shot, the, the sky looks really nice and the colors are just nice and vibrant, and just pretty. Over here in China, we went to the, uh, what was it called, the, the panda? Painted panda? Pan painted panda. We got the, uh, the, this is the panda tea, so it's like a bubble tea. Uh, and white and black tea, non-alcoholic, but that looks like it's gonna be good. And we got this really neat looking thing. This is the uh, the Sichuan mala hot shrimp or Spicy. something like that. But that looks really neat. It's got a, a weird flower in there and it's in a little like glass type thing, plastic, safe for us. And it's got some shrimp in there. But yeah, that, that does look pretty good. All those neat looking textures and probably gonna have some neat flavors in there too oh look it's like a little heart 
Maybe. All right, so we're gonna we're sitting here in China, so that's pretty cool. JR's doing his thing over here, but uh, we're gonna eat this food. Oh, man, it's very vibrant. Who eats their shrimp the right way? James does that. Yeah, it looks like a lot of work. But was it? Oh yeah, see. You cut off too much. I don't know. What about these uh, noodles and stuff in here? It's pretty spicy. Yeah, that's a little spicy. While she's mixing that up, I'm gonna try some of this bubble tea. Mm. Oh, the bubbles are weird. They're like chewy. Are they tea? I'm not a fan of the bubbles or the whatever. Are they tea? Are the bubbles tea? I don't know. They're like gummy bubbles or something. You have to chew them up. Usually, they like pop when you bite into them. But these are just kind of just kind of chewy. But the tea is good. Well, China. Thanks. I mean, it was pretty good. I, the, the shrimp was good. Um, the tea is a bit pretty okay. Non-alcoholic. And actually, we're doing no alcoholic drinks right now because we're just not having any alcoholic drinks. But we've noticed that uh, when you come to these festivals, that really limits what you can drink. There's, there's usually just alcoholic drinks and then like water or maybe, maybe soda or something. So we've been trying to get like the, the fancy or special like festival drinks but there just aren't that many that are not uh, alcoholic so keep that in mind all right so we walked over here I think pop eats is inside of here I don't see any signs on the outside but I think it's in here this is the old Odyssey building all right well that was not popped art pop, pop eats popped art thing that was not that you want to go this way okay but that was not that so we turned around came back out we're gonna go back around uh, and look, there's the festival over there. Oh, nope, now we're gonna go back this way. Spin it around. Come on, Jessica. Get your head in the game. All right, so there's the old Odyssey, and just right across the water here, we actually found Pop Eats right here. I think I want some of this tomato soup. Oh, I want it with the French onion and bacon grilled cheese. That's the one we want. It's only 25 cents more, also. It's a good deal. All right, we've got our Pop Eats. And in front of this cool sign here, we're gonna eat it. Look at them. All right, so we got the uh, the regular grilled cheese and tomato soup. It just sounds hearty. It just sounds nice today because it's kind of cooler out. We also got the shrimp ceviche because that's gonna be nice and cool and fresh. And then for a little more heft, we got a, another grilled cheese and, and uh, tomato soup. But this grilled cheese has bacon and onion, French onion, something French onion and bacon on it. So. Sounds good. That that one, that one's mine. You got some onion, no, not onion, tomato soup. So you gotta dip your grilled cheese in there. That's what real people do. It's like a cream on top. Oh man. Mmm. That one hits the spot. That's really good. We just had a cavalcade come by and we kind of, we, we stopped at Decadent Delights to get some ice cream, stopped at this table, right underneath the speaker, and it took a long time for the music to go away and it's pretty loud. So, but anyways, we're having some ice cream from Decadent Delights. We got the, this is the lemon, lemon. Mm -hmm. yeah? And JR, he got the raspberry one. They're calling it soft serve, but it's got the, like, sherbet. Do what? Basically. What do you mean? They call it soft serve, but to me it tastes like sherbet. I wouldn't know the difference. Ice cream is ice cream. It's ice cream. It's sherbet. Next up on the list is the deconstructed dish. Anyways, we're going to get the uh, couple of drinks from here. So we're going to get the rain boba and the non-alcoholic deconstructed breakfast. The rain boba's got fruit bursting boba with sparkling water. Sounds pretty fun and refreshing and the deconstructed breakfast has a uh, London chai tea shake with uh, maple syrup garnished with a waffle, a waffle, a waffle crisp and candied bacon. Sorry, I'm a little flustered because there's a crazy bird sneaking up on me. He was trying to sneak up on me but I saw him in my peripheral vision. Anyways, that's, oh, and look over here. You can make this at home. I mean, really, you can make anything at home, but you can make this one at home. And check it out. This, uh, what was this again? This sparkling... Rainbowba? Rainbowba. Yeah. It comes with this really cool, fun glass. 
Uh, we're, I mean, pretty sure you can keep, but we're yeah. definitely going to keep it. Um, how's that thing? Tastes like a non-alcoholic white claw. Oh. The sparkling water part. Nice. I wonder how I get to this. Was there straws up there? And here's the uh, deconstructed breakfast, which does look pretty good. It's like cereal. It's a breakfast. I mean, it's good, but not as good as I thought it was going to be. Is it sweet or what? I mean, it has some sweet, but then it has like the bacon-ness in it, which makes it a little smoky. So it's sweet and smoky. Maybe Jer would like it. That sounds good. Jay, are you want to try this? Tastes like cereal. That's very good. You like you it? You like that? Yes. Well, that's all you, bro. Another one of them beautiful views underneath this amazing monorail track with nothing on it yet, but we're on this little side trail here where they have some chalk art, so that's kind of neat. We're gonna we're gonna do that. There's some there's some perception perceptive perception type stuff. So, but this this might be cool. Whoa, look at this! It's like JR's on a thing. It's like JR's doing a thing. Oh, is he like is he is he is he petting it? Is that what he's doing? He better watch his step. He's about to fall off. Off of there, way, way down there. Well, that was neat. Now our time to become the artist once again. We're gonna paint this wall mural over here. We've got, we picked our, our numbers. I got number five. Jessica got number six. JR got lucky 13. We're gonna make some art. All right, number five is our spot. Ooh, look at all this. Look at all this stuff we gotta do. All right, guys, I'm gonna set you down. Back here, right. number five, uh, little number five by big number five. Let's set this down. Oh, and there's the mural that we're doing up there. It's not quite finished yet, but when it is done, it should look something like this. Man, that would have been cool to get Spaceship Earth way over there. Dang. Well, that's cool. Uh, you know, it, it, that's cool. We all gotta, we all gotta do our part, right? All gotta do our part. Hey, what artist? That's what we are now. Official artist. You too can be one, too, if you just come to the festival and learn, right? Art. Yeah. Ooh, look back there. Look, is that Spaceship Earth back there? Can you see Spaceship? Oh, there she is. There she is. Look at her. You know what's cool, I bet? Nighttime. That new fountain thing with the spires. I bet that's really cool. Should we see it? Let's see it. Let's go tonight. back today actually yes. a masterpiece a kitchen of a day it's it's gonna be uh, fancy we're gonna get fancy with this rose thing to showcase just how fancy we are we are we are on a trash can but that's what you do here this is the vanilla rose water and pistachio panna cotta what is a panna cotta oh it's got like a hard shell it tastes like I'm eating like a a scent, like a... Oh, is this another potpourri type thing? Like a fragrance. It tastes like I'm eating a fragrance. Oh. You're eating a smell. Yeah. Do you ever smell a taste? Whoa! You got to the heart. Dang. That's... I mean, that it does look good. good. That part tastes good? Yeah. Looks fancy. That looks really fancy. Yeah, I'm starting to get that nice, uh... Nice lighting. Now, we're gonna go into... The festival building. It's always fun in here. Cause it's just, oh man, look at all the people. Woo. Man, it's very warm. Welcome. Well, we came back outside of the festival building cause, uh, well, one, we got the two dishes that we were gonna have and, and two, 
It's really hot in there. I mean, it's nice and cool out here. Like, not cold, but it's chilly and comfortable. But we've got a couple of things. We got the uh, the ratatouille, which is part of the uh, the thing, and then the uh, cake. What kind of cake is this? Pistachio cake. You want to see it? And here we've got the ratatouille. This is what ratatouille is. In case anybody's wondering, looks like uh, you know squash and uh, that other thing, Pasta. zucchini. And then we've got this pistachio cake. That look, it's like a bunch of little teeny cakes in there. Those look really fun. Uh, and then Jr. also got a uh, like this boba type drink. Blue sky black cherry soda in it. Oh, ratatouille. Looks it looks kind of healthy. Tastes like squash and zucchini with pasta sauce. Huh. That's what it looks like also. Squash and zucchini with pasta sauce. It smells like that too. The ratatouille is pretty good. It's very uh it's very fresh and kind of not spicy, but like the acidicness. It's got a little bit of acid in it. Be careful. Squash, zucchini, and eggplant. I think that's what ratatouille is. It's good. And now for this pistachio cake. I don't even know what to expect this to taste like. Yeah, I don't either. I'm gonna get into this thing. Whoa. Look inside of there. Oh, it's stuck to it. That triangle thing is good. Eat yours. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean, I did. Here's the thing that you had that you made a weird face on. Both of them. Mm. So far, everything's good. This thing looks like a cherry, but I don't think it is. I think that's like a candy thing or something. It's, whoa. Destroyed it together. Ooh, look. See that? No. Huh? You don't want to see you don't want to see that? You don't want to look at that? No, okay. It's fine. I didn't want you to look at it anyways. That's all pretty good. Is it all pistachio type stuff? Assume? Yeah, I would assume. They called it's, it pistachio cake. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be like three different things. Or four. And this is the sign that you look for whenever you've completed the cookie stroll. Here, not a stroll. It's not a stroll. From the port of entry building right over there, across from that, this little booth is the decadent delights. That's where your completer cookie window is. Oh, look. Jessica made a nice little display here. There's JR. all the stamps, and there's the actual cookie. Good job, JR. You did it. And if that completer cookie wasn't enough, we made our way over to Joffrey's and we're gonna get some uh, some stuff. I think this is what we're gonna get here, the specialty latte and donut pairing. It's from Canada, because we're near Canada. It's the Creative Twist Latte with a brown butter toffee syrup. So this latte has a brown butter toffee syrup and Swiss chocolate syrup topped with Twix bar pieces paired with a donut. What the heck? Whew. No, no good. It's too sweet. That is a that just screams too sweet. Along with this here, this is this is the too sweet combo. It's kind of too much. Yeah. But I mean, I'm with you. I'm gonna take another couple of bites. I think that's it. Big bites. Now back in the courtyards of the UK, as we kind of wind things down. Look at here. There's art in the courtyard. Look at all this fun stuff. Anyways, this one's really neat. This is Mulan, right? Yes, it is. Look at that. Mushu painted that. He's not, that's what it is. It's not paint. He used his fire to etch that image in there of Mulan. That's, that's really neat. Ooh, and this one is by Donald Duck of Donald Duck himself. We did, we learned how to do Donald Duck. Look at that. There's Jessica's. There's JR's. And of course, the best for last. James is look oh James you did so good but Donald he's number one. Oh man check Maurice's out it's like a machine he created a machine to do a, a drawing a painting this is a drawing but man look at that that is really that's really cool very steampunky oh look at that did you do that well yes everyone was asking about it and they weren't sure which rabbit to follow sure That's the one. Well, at least I'm your curious. Yes. Of course. Always. Awesome. Well, thank you. Have a good afternoon. You too. Wow. Well, that was fun. Alice just kind of teaching us things about art. 
And what type of, oh wow, look at that flower. That is a beautiful flower. Alice is going to help us uh, to shut things down. Thank you guys for coming along. We really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, mm -hmm. yep. That's pretty cool. Wow. What a beautiful thing this time of day is. It is absolutely wonderful. Anyways, guys, if you liked any of the things that we did today, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to. It's no charge. On top of that, you could even hit the like button, and that will help to push this video out there so that more people that might like it may see it and enjoy it and have fun, and we can all be friends together. And that's really, that's what we want. We just want to be friends, spread joy and, and fun throughout the world. The Festival of the Arts is amazing. Like, the, the arts, it's something we need right now, uh, is just, like, appreciating art because that's what uh, art and heart, there's not a coincidence that art and heart rhyme. They got a thing together. Like fart. <laughs> <laughs>